What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon. And the crypto universe today is Thursday, June 2nd. And yes, we're going to be talking about Trip and Ape Tribe again today. And the reason I keep making these videos is honestly, this collection has a great roadmap, a great team, great utility, but also the most important part, a great community. And ever since I've joined this community, ever since I've invested in two of these NFTs, it's been amazing. So I'm gonna let you guys know what that second NFT that I got uh, at the very end of the video. But throughout the entire video, don't miss a single thing because there are important data points every day that I share with you guys with this collection that you do not wanna miss out. Because if you miss the video, if you miss these details, you're gonna miss out on the bullish price action. So guys, with that said, as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please avoid any of the scammers in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So let's go ahead and begin with the first slide. And that is, guys, today Magic Eden has congratulated all the NFTs in its space, but most importantly, if you see number one, Trippin' Ape Tribe is the number one collection, top performing collection in the past seven days. Now this is by volume, by trading volume, and it has surpassed OK Bears. What does this tell you? This tells you that smart money is transitioning over to Trip and Ape Tribe. Because in my perspective, again, not financial advice, just, just my own opinion, that they have the best PFP, profiles for pictures. To me, apes are a huge thing in this space, but most importantly, the artwork with Trip and Ape Tribe is amazing. And it started off at a rocky start, but people still bought into it. And again, it's showing you that the money, you have to follow it, follow the money. So next up, I also wanna show you how much has been traded. Because again, a lot has happened in the past week in the whole crypto market. It's been very volatile. Even though people are fearing to buy anything, people are still buying NFTs. And if you've noticed, Trip and Ape Tribe has had around 110,000 in terms of its volume. Now, if you look at this, let's talk about the trading, all right? Now we have OK Bears, which is the second in line. And we, I have to give props to OK Bears because it was one of my first collections that I bought at less than 100 Solana and I sold it at 265. And slightly right now it's on a dip, but that's OK, they're OK. But know that money is now transitioning over the Trip and Ape Tribe, and now we have this as one of the most traded collectibles out there. Now, if we look at the nftinspect.xyz website, this follows basically who is switching their profile for pictures, where is social media going on Twitter, where are people uh, transitioning to, where's the strongest community? And guess what, Trip and Ape Tribe is second in line on the Solana blockchain. And the first is obviously OK Bears because they are around a 1.6 million in terms of trading volume. Trip and Ape Tribe is actually eating up maybe a little bit of that liquidity as we speak. Now, if we look at all chains, not just Solana, but Ethereum and Solana, you can see that Trip and Ape Tribe still holds fourth place above Azuki. And soon, soon in my, in my prediction, is gonna beat Moonbirds. That's right, it's gonna flip Moonbirds. So that's just my own perspective, but it's inevitable, right? Now let's go to the marketplace. Now, as you've seen, the price has been holding steady between 24 to 27 Solana. The trading volume actually has increased from three, almost like 350,000 to 409,000. And two things I also wanna show you. Let's talk about the first one, and that is the total list account. Now, the last time I saw this, was over a thousand, and now it's less than a thousand, 936 at the time of this recording. That goes to show me that either people are delisting their NFTs to get ready for staking, that is rumored to happen, or there are more of these NFTs being sold and there are less on the market floor. But what else? Let's talk about the unique holders. Now the unique holders actually was above 7,000. Now it's below that. So my eyes, the way that I'm seeing this is, the reason the total list account is dwindling is because the amount of paper hands are selling to diamond hands or people who are accumulating these things or stepping into the space that are new to it and decide to just hold. So there are a lot of different treasures here, but it may be too late if you don't get in right now. That's just my own perspective. Again, the price is slowly increasing and it will not stop. 
Now, next up, I'm sharing something from Jack.Soul, who shared a little bit of a poll. And obviously, out of these, which PFP should I use, he says. And people in the community are saying Trip and Ape Tribe is leading that out of the 813 votes. That is very bullish. Now, let's talk about giveaways. There are some other NFTs that are helping push the raffle for Trip and Ape Tribe. So Bunnies and Homies Club has a raffle going on that you can participate in, and that is for Trip and Ape Tribe number 527. Now, all you have to do is just click on this link and participate in this. I'm not gonna dive deep into it because I'm not very familiar with it, but if you want to know, if you wanna to try to win this and maybe you own a Bunnies and Homies, this is a raffle you can participate in. But not only that, GCon is also another raffle that is going up for a Trip and Ape Tribe. And this edition is going to be uh, used with troop tokens. And troop is the token for Gcon Studios. And the price of entry is around 20. So in case you wanna join this, feel free to check this website out on their social media page on Twitter. Now, next up, I also wanna give a shout out to one of the members of the Discord of Trip and Ape Tribe, and that is MFBTC. He actually shared our video yesterday, which I'll put on the upper right hand side, which went to go and show regarding traits and what traits have made your gains within the Trip and Ape Tribe NFT collection. So if you haven't checked that out, it's going to be right here on my YouTube channel. But one amazing thing was uh, a member who I actually shared on my last video, Kareem, actually bought one of these. He says, I have to give you credit for me seeing this beautiful one, my today crown. Thanks, bro. And what does, what does he mean by that? He actually bought into this. So he pointed out something that 16 crowns are left on the floor. Nothing else to say. Happy to join the crown game before it's too late. Now, if you don't know, these crowns are one of the most sought after items. Uh, I put that in my video uh, in terms of traits and the crown is definitely one of the most prized possessions. And so I want to congratulate Kareem for stagging this because it had a great rarity on it and also was a great steal in terms of price. So you see, this is what happens when people watch these videos and they watch these traits because they're going to buy into these before anybody else. So when you guys watch these videos and you guys also pay attention to what's happening in the Trippany NFTs right now, you're in early before anybody else starts to adopt it. Again, smart money, community, they follow this and it's important that you do too. And so let's also give up some props to Soul Princess who has one of these crowns as well, but she also owns a gold fur ape. That is really huge. So props to Soul Princess for owning one of these. It's a huge steal in my perspective. But also there was a person who responded to my video yesterday. He said, how do you know Moonrink is accurate and how rare dot is is very off. For example, Moonrink does not take into account naked apes of which there are less than a hundred in the whole collection and still ranks them the most common apes to each of their own. This is a really good point from Dan Yee. Now what he's trying to say here is, is that how rare dot is uh, offers you a, a tool to find out Trippany NFTs with four traits or four T. Now four traits are actually a really common uh, want and need for NFT collectors. And why is that? It's because there are only four traits, which is really rare. So what are those four traits? So let's count number one. Number one is the background. That's number one. Number two is the eyes. What are they using for eyes? And number three, what are they using for the face? right? And then number four, what is the fur? Those are only four traits. So say for instance, if there are five traits, there would be maybe a coat, maybe there's a crown, uh, maybe there's a, a, ra a rabbit, you know, that, that's what I'm trying to say is that there are four traits out there that are really common, uh, but also they're all rare in some way. And so this is why the guy brought up Dan Yee going to hear how rare dot is. So if you go to how rare dot is, this website does offer the tool to find these four traits, which Moonrank does not offer that. So if you go over here to the left side on how rare dot is, there are these attributes and you want to select the four attributes, which is four traits. So as you can see here, there are these naked apes, which is what he was referring to, all these four traits, very simple, right? So if you want to buy one of these, you just go ahead and click for sale only and it will show you what is for sale. And as you can see, they are very expensive. All sorts of these prices are ranging from 65, 58, even 200 and 333, 598. Goes to show you how expensive these really are, but also the rarity for them as well. 
Now, next up, I want to share something that was recently posted by this person, Cadiz Boy. Now, in his little tweet, he said, just heard Charles thinking of giving us shrooms, aka the tribe token, in a few days. Our reward will not coming without effort. Charles thinking of giving out an order or mission, staking. Tribe, did I hear that right? Now, what this means is, uh, and I've brought this up in my previous videos, is that in order to earn tribe tokens, you need to stake your NFTs. And in order to stake your NFTs, you also have to have uh, the Charles Sacrament uh, NFTs that were airdropped, which you also could buy in the secondary market. Again, you can see that video in my last one if you haven't seen it, and that was in yesterday's video. So that's something that we need to look forward to. And the reason I'm really bullish on the tribe token is because it could be like the ape coin, the ape coin of uh, the Board Ape Yacht Club. Now the tribe token, you can actually earn rewards on, you can cash out, it may not be a lot. It could be in the dollars rather than in the tens or in the twenties, but you never know if this collection does moon, then you can expect those tribe tokens to do really well. Just make sure to plan your exit strategy or plan how do you plan to use those tokens. They're gonna to use it to build another ascended ape, which is just a prediction. You know, it's not nothing that's been announced, but are you gonna use those tokens to cash out or to ascend and make another NFT derivative or NFT second collection of the first OG that you have? So let that, you know, noodle into your mind. So before we close out, I want to show you some bullish action right now. And that is on soulsniper.xyz. Now this is in the four hourly chart. Why am I so bullish on this? Look on the moving uh, day average, the nine day and 21 day. Now this is on the four hourly chart. Now as, as the listing does dwindle slightly, if you've noticed the nine and 21 day moving average is about to cross. So what does that mean? Well, as you can see here, they crossed earlier and you can see that there was a downtrend. So whenever you see a large gap, that means that they're showing a large sell off, right? That means we may not see an uptrend for a while. So imagine that it's going to cross again. Imagine what's going to happen. It's going to go up and the width between these two lines is going to spread out. And that means we're going to see some amazing bullish action. Now, this is just my own opinion, right? I'm not like an amazing chartist. I don't predict the future. But this is something that I've seen in cryptocurrency. This is something that I've seen in NFTs. And so that's what I predict as my own opinion, all right? So it's up to you to decide, is this a good entry point? And also, which traits are you gonna buy into? What budget can you invest in? And what are you willing to lose, right? You don't wanna invest your home. You don't wanna invest your funds that you could pay for food. You only wanna invest what you feel comfortable with. Maybe you can only invest 27 Solana, right? Maybe you can only invest uh, 40 Solana, right? But don't buy into something that's 100 Solana and you don't know if you're gonna make it. Again, this is the roadmap to 100 floor price. This is why I feel 100 floor price is inevitable. And that's why all these different data points that I'm showing you today, we're gonna head there. But I'm so bullish on this. So much so, I even asked the community, should I buy one, right? I said, I'm so bullish on Trip and Ape NFTs, I'm tempted to buy a rare laser eye trait first 200 likes and comments, I'll buy one. And guess what? We met that goal, 223 likes. So what did I do? Guys, I got one of my laser eye traits and this is number 7415. So guys, thank you so much for helping me reach 200 likes within 24 hours of that post. And if you guys want me to change my profile picture, make sure to give 100 likes in this post. Make sure to go to my Cryptolution Twitter page and go ahead and hit that heart symbol and we'll get there guys. All right guys, so that wraps up the video. I hope that this has been really informational. Again, I'm so bullish on this collection guys. I've been debating if I need to get a third one. But guys, 100 floor price is inevitable. We know this, you guys know this. This is about community. It's not about influencers. It's not about me influencing you. It's about following smart money. It's about following information. It's about following where the community wants to go. And right now, all these things that I showed you, the community is building this and it's gonna start right now. And it's going to continue, continue, continue until we reach the 100, 100 soul floor price. But guys, it's not gonna stop there. It's gonna go to 200. 200 is the floor price that it's actually gonna go to. Let's be realistic. Because right now we have top NFT projects like OK Bears. We have top projects like D Gods who have shown that 200 is the new norm. 100 floor price is just the start. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in to watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, make sure to comment down below and join our Patreon page. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign-up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.